Welcome to the Gym Wits Podcast. I'm Ryan George. I'm Justin Guild, aka Chef Sonic. And we are the Gym Wits. So today's another edition of Gym Wits Reviews, where we review products that you send us. Uh, what do we have today? We have uh, Zing Anything's Tea Zinger and Citrus Zinger. Yep, and we want to thank uh, Zing Anything for being patient with us. Uh, it took us a little bit longer than we would have liked to get this, uh, just due to various circumstances uh for the last few weeks so we've yeah we finally got this up um in addition if you're interested in seeing a video review we actually put together our first video review for youtube as well so uh while audio is great uh and we love the sound of our own voices and we hope you do too uh it's also nice to have a companion piece where you can actually see the product and the product in use so again what if i what if i don't like looking at myself on camera i don't i don't like (laughs) hearing although i like hearing myself less than I like watching myself. So I'd really? rather watch on camera for some reason than mm. listen to my voice. Like I can't, it's hard for me to listen to podcasts. Mm. But anyway, that's it's beside funny. the point. Well, it's funny when I, when I see myself on camera, I, I realize just how not as good as like, you know, the like professional people that do like commercials or broadcasting. I'm like, damn, I'm just not as good as them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh. It is what it is. Uh, yeah, yeah. But anyway, but check out the Gym with YouTube. Uh, if, I will, I guess, add one little thing. If if it's not up uh, this post, I believe, on Thursday, if it's not up on Thursday, it should be up by the weekend. So yes. uh, definitely check it out. But anyway, let's get to the uh, tea zinger and the citrus zinger. So what is the citrus zinger, Justin? It's a water infuser. It comes with a few different components. It's uh, There's a grate, which you can grate uh, citrus fruits on. There is a cucumber slicer for obviously cucumbers if you want to make cucumber infused water and there's also a a little sort of uh, a berry slicer so you can you know, in, infuse your water with uh, various types of berries strawberries are you know very popular for water um, blueberries or you know, whatever whatever it is that you guys might want um, the citrus singer will Make it fairly easy for you to infuse uh, your water with well, you know, whatever it is that you want. Um, I found it to be pretty effective for what it does. As I mentioned in the video review, it's getting the proportions right. It's how much orange do you want in your water? How much berry? How much cucumber? It could be very mild. It can be very strong. So part of it is the amount of oranges or lemons or whatever it is that you add, how long you let it sit for. Right, um, that will impact how infused your water is. I found it to be pretty easy to use, especially if you you do it a little bit. You'll get you'll get used to it. Um, it is it's a little cumbersome, right? There's a, a few different components, and it's not too different from just slicing up. Um, fruits and just tossing it in water, right? You could just slice up a couple lemons and throw it in water and you're going to infuse your water. I think that the the real strength of it is that it's sort of an all-in-one package and it's also very good to if you want to be on the go, right? It's There's a, a bottle that comes with it. You can sort of do it. It's all in a couple pieces. It all comes nice and assembled. Um, it might be a little less messy than if you had to just cut up everything and, and throw it in. It might also take a little less time and also... Um, you don't have to have, have like a big pitcher or something. It's kind of like a small little bottle thermos type thing um, that you can use. And I, you know, it works well if you like infused water. Then it, it it's going to be a a pretty solid product. And I don't think it's very expensive. I think it. What 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 are they advertising it for? Maybe fifteen. Uh, you can or find 16 it on bucks? Amazon. Uh, yeah, don't don't quote us on the price. Uh, I think but that's I what think it was. You, you can get it. On, I saw it on Amazon as well as the website, which is uh, zinganything dot com. The other thing we reviewed was the uh, tea zinger. So the tea zinger is similar. It's it's uh, infusing your tea, which I actually liked because I'm I'm not a big fan of tea, so I like tea that does have some flavor. And very similar, it you're able to you you know can you can squeeze lemon into it. Uh, you can grate some ginger into it. So what I like about it is that the way the bottles are set up are with compartments that allow you to keep 
the whatever you've put in so let's say you squeeze a lemon you can actually keep the lemon in there or, or an orange maybe is a better example um so that it kind of absorbs some of the flavor so you get some more of the it's, it sits in there or let's say you grate some ginger you can keep the ginger in there for a while and then over time let's say you know if you're drinking the tea you're not most of us aren't going to drink it extra hot and all in the first couple minutes so over time it actually gets more of the flavor in there yeah. um and i agree i think you know with both of the products from my perspective, well, let me take a, a step back. So one of the benefits from having um, held off, so we recorded the review a little while ago, but we, I've been using it for a while and we haven't had a chance to edit and record the podcast. So I've actually had the tea zinger and the um, citrus zinger at home and I've been using, I've been using the tea zinger and my uh, stepson's been using the citrus zinger uh, and we've been using it for a, a, quite a few weeks now. And I, I'm happy to report they, they do last pretty long. So I mean, yeah. you know, as far as the like sturdy. yeah, they're sturdy. Mm-hmm. Nothing's really broken down. You know, things are still sharp. Things still work perfectly fine. So I think one of the good things uh, about this delay in recording the audio versus the video, or in, you know, or, or editing the video and everything, is that we've actually had a chance to actually test the product, and and I can say the product actually has survived the last uh, you know month or so of of use. Um, so now, as a product, I would say they definitely make it a little bit more. It's a little easier to do what you need to do, especially like if you're grating something. Like you know, where do you what do you have that you can grate into the your tea? So it's nice to have the the cap and the thing right there so that you can grate it and it'll stay in the tea, but it's not going to get. You're not going to drink you know pieces of ginger. So that that is yeah, nice. Yeah. Uh, so especially when it comes to anything that you're going to grate or that you're going to slice into it, it is nice that it's kind of in its own compartment that's blocked off so that you're not going to drink it, but it still gets infused into the water, whether it's the, the tea or whether you're doing something cold. So I like that. Um, at the end of the day, though, you know, it's, it is not anything that you can't do with every, anything you have at home. It just makes things a little bit more convenient. Yep. Um, fairly, pretty easy to clean. Uh, you know, it's cumbersome, but anything like that's going to be cumbersome. So I, I don't, I don't really you count. It was easy to clean. Clean. Yeah, pretty easy to clean. It, you know, like again, anything like that, it's going to be a bit of a challenge to clean. Like think when you, you know, a cheese grater, or you know, if, yeah. when you're grating, if you grate ginger anyway, it's, it's still not the easiest thing in the world to clean. It's still you got to pick the little pieces. So it's just just comes with the territory of like something that grates. But but overall, I think you know the pieces come apart pretty easily. It's pretty straightforward. So I think it's a product. It, it works. It does what it does well. Again, not something that you can't do with with stuff you got at home in your kitchen, but. Uh, if you do like infused drinks, I, I think it's a great product to, to use. Now, you also found that uh, the, the tea zinger was a pretty solid thermos, right? It kept the, yes. it kept the yes, water it warm. The, yeah, it did keep things warm or cold. Uh, okay. Either way, a couple times I did have some cold water in it, and uh, it worked really well. Actually, it worked well in Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's you know, funny. I, didn't, I wasn't even considering it as a bonus, but when I was in Thailand, I had it with me. And so you know, one of the issues being out there is it's super hot, and when you train, you train outdoors. So my first couple of days, like when I got there the first day, they gave me this giant, like I got six things, six two liter things of, of water that I went through like in a couple of days. But what I would do is when I would go to train, I would just carry a two liter thing of water. And even though I had it in the refrigerator that all day, within an hour of it being out in the hot Thai weather, it was, it was warm. And so I then use my the teasinger bottle and because it does keep things cold it was great because when i would i needed the cold water i couldn't just drink the lukewarm water with my body temperature where it was and as hot and exhausting as things were so i did have i did benefit from using the teasinger uh because it did happen to keep things cool so it does keep temperature so it works as advertised in that way did you infuse uh your tea with elephant dung no, <laughs> although although we did make elephant paper poop paper out of elephant poop. See, I knew so. there was something there. Maybe they should make the tie zinger, right? The tie zinger. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> great idea. Nice. You can send checks to. Where do you live? West End out. No. Okay. All right. Well. Anyway, so um, so what do do we have a rating system yet? No, I don't um, think so. We probably should have talked about this we, before. We should have talked about it. Yeah. Do you want to go one to five, one to ten? Yeah, one to five. One to five. Yeah, but then there are things to wait rate it on. Like, would you buy it? Like, would you buy it? me personally? No. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it's not a good product. It just means I don't drink enough tea. Water. Yeah, exactly. I, I, dr- I like tea, uh, and when I drink tea, I don't. I don't really put any lemon in there. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I like to drink uh, plain tea or maybe I'll put a little honey in there, but I, I don't drink infused water. I like regular water. The only thing really infused I drink would be like a flavored seltzer. So yeah. if there was a carbonated version of it, which well, is soda stream, I mean, right? Yeah, you could, well, yeah, if you have a I soda stream, you, then you could do like that. You could, you could do, do both, carbonated. Yeah. Yeah, right? But generally, I don't drink much infused. I don't drink much infused water. Once again, that doesn't mean that it's not a solid product. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's so I'm not going to rate it based on my personal... Yeah. Um, practices. But on what it does. So based on what yes. it does, what do you rate it out of five? I will rate it a four out of five. Yep, I would I give it about the same thing. I think it does what it does really well. Um, and Is there any improvements? You, that, that you, any improvements? I, You know, there might be some... I don't, maybe some func- small, minor functional improvements. I, I think that but it might be a little tough. Sometimes it gets a little stuck, sticky. The things like the components get stuck in there. It's a little hard. The to one get thing, out, the, like the, really the tea zinger has a little. Uh, God, I don't even know, what, what you, you know, an area where you put your the tea yeah. leaves in, right? So. Uh, that was a little bit of a challenge to open up. I think that's the only negative I can find. Yeah, otherwise, yeah. I think, you know, otherwise structurally pretty good. They work and well. They solid. last long, solid. So yeah, definitely I give about four out of five. Um, yeah. The, uh, I think that if there was one issue is that there's a lot of components that could sort of easily be lost. Yeah. But or, I, or broken. But like it comes if, with if the territory. Was, it comes with the territory. Yeah. yeah that's, it would be really awesome if there was a way to like sort of like, yeah. like a Swiss army knife, like exactly. pop out. Yeah. If um, you had, if it was a system where you can just, pull things apart without anything disconnecting completely i guess that might be the next that would be the the, the next the, step the, but then the that would make the cleaning a little bit yeah, more what? difficult can you put it in so, the uh can you put it in a dishwasher yeah okay so that's yeah so i plus. mean so i mean that, that that's an issue i guess yeah i guess i mean there maybe there's some functional or structural or design changes that could make it easier but i, but I don't see anything that's like gl- there's nothing, nothing glaring. glaring yeah solid product all right cool and well, at a decent price too i yeah. think what i was looking at i think the teasinger is 30 dollars okay um, makes sense. It, it, it makes is sense. good. It's a, bigger, and it's a good metal, product. Right? It's stainless steel. Um, it, you know, it keeps things cold. It has yeah, a yeah. few more parts. Uh, and you know, again, that that's got to be made to last longer. You're dealing with you know hot water. You're dealing with an area that you got to hold the tea. So it makes sense that that's a little bit more expensive. Yeah, and the, once again, I think the citrus singer is about fifteen or sixteen dollars. Yeah, something check like check that. on it's on zingAnything.com. And as usual, if you have a product that you would like to send us for review, we have some um, coming up. Too. We love free stuff. And uh, we will send a review and try to be as honest and, uh, you know, straightforward as possible. So um, that is it. So, again, check out zinganything.com if you want to pick this up. Uh, check out youtube.com. And we should have this up, um, if not when this posts, by the weekend. So you can take, take a look at us trying it out. The cool thing about this review is we were both doing it basically for the first time. So it was us, like, you know, we, 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 which we did with our previous review. is like we're trying to review these things, like, as somebody who just gets the product and you're doing it for the first time. So yep. it's us kind of, you know, messing with it a little bit. Um, so you kind of get to explore it with us. So that's it. As usual, all of our stuff is at thegymwits.com. Uh, we'll leave a link to all this stuff in the show notes. Rate us, review us. That is it. I'm Ryan George. I'm Justin Guild, a.k.a. Chef Sonic. And we are the Gym Gym Wits. Wits.